drink some tea first. Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I go to three different houses and three different neighborhoods all for the same price. I begin the video in the Southwest of Las Vegas, kind of by Fort Apache and Blue Diamond. Then I drive all the way to Summerlin, right next to downtown Summerlin, and then we go down to Spring Valley. I did this video because I thought it would be very interesting to see the different houses in each neighborhood and how you can compare and contrast how they look in the different neighborhoods. This video Video is kind of like a little buyer's tour so if you ever were thinking about buying a home this is kind of what it's like to go on a tour so I'm excited to take you along with me and we will just jump right in so we are currently at the first listing this home is listed for 475 it's in the southwest and it's close to Blue Diamond but it's not on Blue Diamond um, I just went down Fort Apache and Pebble so um yeah let's check it out i'll show you the neighborhood and we'll check out the inside of the house so we can see what it's like to live in the southwest or what are the homes looking like for 475 in the southwest so first glance this is the neighborhood they all kind of look similar they're really cute i'm sorry it's a bit of a windier day this is the street and the front of the home So right when you walk in, it's bright. And let me lock this door. So the first thing I noticed when I came into the home was the panel on the flooring. So this is vinyl. We have a large door closet right here, a fridge, new cabinets the pantry, dining room, and a rock backyard. And you can see over into the living room. Living room. And then it, there is a powder room down here, which is kind of small. But I feel like if it was rearranged better, it could be like another full bathroom. Two car garage. Now let's go upstairs. You have a tall ceiling feature right here, which is nice. So it allows some light in. So right when you walk upstairs, you have a small little living room right here, which I actually enjoy, and three bedrooms. So this is a secondary bedroom, closet, primary bedroom. It is a lot bigger. Primary bathroom. The shower, tub, double sink, bathroom, large closet. I love this sink. I think it's so cute. These cabinets really make the house look so much better. Like it really puts a nice upgrade on this home. So four bedrooms, laundry room with appliances, full bath, and the rooms there are a little bit smaller, but they're longer. Same thing. linen closet and we are done with the house tour on this one 
So we are currently in the first house. This is in the Southwest by Blue Diamond, like I uh, previously said, and I'm just gonna read you a little bit of the stats so you can get an idea of this specific neighborhood and this home. So it's currently listed for 475. It hit the market 29 days ago. Um, the total HOA is $45 a month. It is $233 a foot. Um, the square footage is 2,036. The lot itself is 3,485, uh, so it's a little bit smaller of a lot. Um, yeah, it's four bedrooms, three bathrooms, um, two full bathrooms, and one half bathroom. And uh, let me see if there's something else I can find. Annual tax is 2,000. Um, yeah. So I think this is a nice home. Right when I came in, I realized it was nice, light, clean, like kind of feels a little bit like a new construction because you could tell that some people came in here and they knew what they were doing and they put everything in pretty nicely. There's no exposed flooring. The granite seems nice. And yeah, I think this is actually gonna be one of my favorite options, but we will go tour the other properties as well. As you can see, the roads are a little bit more underdeveloped here. So right now we are driving on the 215 to our next house, which is in Summerlin. It is off of Sahara. So I am actually driving north on the 215. We are now passing downtown Summerlin to get here as well. Okay, as I'm pulling into the neighborhood, I am obsessed it is so adorable the landscaping and everything is just adorable sorry i was just paying attention to my um maps that's not working right now but look at these little gates these trees the colors it's just so cute so we just pulled up to cast pebble drive in summerlin now we are in Summerlin. This neighborhood is not gated, but it is adorable. It is right off of Sahara. Right next to downtown Summerlin. Like you can walk to downtown Summerlin. And this is the home. Sorry, let me do a little full thing. Like it's giving California, it's not really giving Las Vegas, but it's stunning. So on the outside, it's gorgeous. And this is exactly, I just walked it and this is exactly what I was afraid of. Um, you go inside, it is the same exact price as the house that we were just at. And first impressions, it's destroyed. Like what? Let me lock this door. It's destroyed. <laughs> The carpets are disgusting. It looks like a rental. Exposed cables. The blinds are all messed up. The walls are white. It smells really good in here, surprisingly. They lit a wallflower. Realtors, if you ever have a listing, put this in. It literally changes the game. The floor, powder room. The layout is cute. It's not like a normal layout. Hello. Sorry, I thought I messed up my mic. Ew. The kitchen. So I'm standing in the living room. Everything is separated, like kitchen, living room, rooms in general. The garage, two car garage, dark. These are the cabinets, these are the appliances, black. Black refrigerator. See, this home has so much potential. I might even just send it to like an investor. But as we go upstairs, it's dirty. Like the carpets need to be cleaned. I'm not trying to talk bad about this house, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna put like, I'm not gonna lie to anybody and be like, oh, it's a beautiful home. No, it's like falling apart. I love this area though. Like this is fun. You know, these arched windows, it's very classy. It has some really nice design elements to it. So now we're going into the primary bedroom. A lot of light, but just as you expect, it's like 
trashed. A lot of cabinet space. Like, what were they doing? Big closet. And like, you're walking and you just see the carpet ripped up. This room's big. So this home could be like a great, like roommate house. Look at the blinds. Oh no. <laughs> Just cords everywhere. So that was an ensuite. You got the laundry room upstairs with the appliances. Girl, she needs some work. And that is this home. Oh, the backyard. Oh, it actually looks cute. Okay, no, never mind. I <laughs> I was deceived. It has like a little pathway, but nothing great for like a dog. So we are at house number two. We are in the kitchen of house number two. And this like is a perfect example of people people's main issue when buying a home here in Las Vegas. The location is perfect. The house on the outside is beautiful. But on the inside, it's a mess. It's destroyed. Um, it definitely needs a lot more work than what people, what the average home buyer is willing to put into. Especially when you're putting like fifteen thousand dollars down, you don't want to put like another like thirty thousand dollars in upgrades, which is what this home definitely needs. So we are in Summerlin. It's the same exact price as the house before. It is four seventy five. Um, it is two hundred and eighty five dollars a foot. Built in two thousand three. Um, the home is 1,664 square feet. Um, the lot is 3,485 square feet. Um, it is two bedrooms, three, ba three bathrooms, so it's the same, same as the last one. Two full bathrooms and one half bathroom. Annual tax is uh, 2,469. Summerland, right next to downtown Summerland, like this is a prime location. Like people are gonna want this home for sure. Comes with some appliances. Two car garage. Yeah, so the home tour really kind of says it all. And this is just a prime example of like what home buyers face in Las Vegas in this current market. Like you can have the location or you can have the perfect home. Like what do you want, you know? And it just really sucks because you want some type of like workability. And I don't want to talk bad about it because there is a home for everybody. And also at the same time, like some person can look at it and look at these projects and see like, okay, this is not an issue for me. You know, like I can do this pretty well. I can clean up this sink. I can replace the appliances. I'll paint the cabinets. I'll install like, yeah, I'll, I have a good cleaner, you know? So it just depends on what the buyer's looking for. But yeah, this is what I've seen. And I think a lot of buyers have this issue as well. So my final thoughts on this home, I think it is a beautiful home with amazing potential. It has some like little things to it, like the arch doors and the windows and like the layout that make it truly unique and a beautiful like fun home to live in that really doesn't feel so cookie cutter. But um, I feel like the right person will really turn it into something very beautiful. So we went about five minutes down Sahara and we turned right on Buffalo. We're heading to Spring Valley area. We are at the third and final house. This home is located in Spring Valley. So we kind of went in like a triangle. We started in the Southwest, Summerlin, and now we're in Spring Valley, which is a little bit more central. Um, and this is kind of like a perfect example to see the difference between HOAs. So this home in Spring Valley. Usually Spring Valley doesn't have an HOA. Um, this is zero HOA. The last house we were at, I forgot to mention, was $192 HOA every month. So there's usually two HOAs. Um, the last house had um, a Summerlin master plan and then the neighborhood. But this is a no HOA neighborhood and I'm excited to show you what it's like. So welcome to Spring Valley. This is a no HOA neighborhood. You can see each house is a little bit different and how everyone maintains their front porch. Like everybody does something a little different. One of the houses is blue and white, which is completely different from the color scheme of the neighborhood. The pump, it's a little bit older of a neighborhood. You can tell by the trees. So this is the home. It is a one story home. 
I went inside. This driveway is big. And let me tell you, I was blown away. I am blown away. This is a really cute neighborhood. Even though it's dirt, it has this cute little landscaping. Ring doorbell, which is always great to have. I believe a lot of the other houses have that as well. Double doors, a screen door. Cute door. So first impressions. Garage. It is really big, but it's dark. So first impressions. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I, I'm a, I like vinyl. I think it's cute. Um, it gets some cute light. The lights are off right now, but I think it's great. It's remodeled. Obviously, it's a flip. Let me lock this door because I don't want anybody else to be here. Okay, good. Perfect. All right, so let's go to... Ooh. Woo! I wasn't even going to open that, but I did. Okay. So let's go to the kitchen. Nice white kitchen. Great appliances. A little dated, but still nice. Lovely window. Nice countertops, nice cabinets, nice fridge. A little view up to the main dining room or living room. Um, this is an informal dining area. The backyard. So nice. I love that pool. It's fun. It's like a really great family pool. Like you can see everybody just in the summertime, jumping in, having a great time. It has a jacuzzi. Nice. So I guess this could be the formal dining room or the living room. And they all have accent walls. They put a lot of work into this house. It smells like paint. So this is a full bathroom. We will go into a secondary bedroom. Accent wall. Oh my God. This is a wall of mirrors. This is so cool. Oh my God, I've never seen that before like in a house here in Las Vegas. Like I've always thought about this idea. Like it's come to mind, but I never like saw what it would look like in person. That's so cool. Okay, I love it. I'm obsessed. Nice. Other secondary bedroom, every custom, every, my back closet is custom. Cool. It's a little windy and that scared the heck out of me. Secondary bedroom. So I'm assuming this is the master and it has a door to the backyard, wow. It's unique. I'm not a big fan of this because it feels a little small, but it'll work, you know? It, for Spring Valley, for a great area, for a clean home, I think it's great. So we are in the third and final home and my impressions are, I think it's great. I think it is renovated beautifully. Um, the floors are nice, the cabinets, everything is clean. The countertops are brand new. This home is a little bit more. It is $4,000 more than the homes we were originally at. So everything in this video was $475,000. This home is $479,900. Um, there's no HOA. Um, it's $317 a square foot. The home was built in 1997. Um, annuals, the annual tax is $1,237. Um, it comes with appliances. The square footage is 1,512. The lot is 6,534. Um, yeah. Located in Spring Valley, this was about five minutes away from the Summerlin house, but it's about like 20 minutes away from the Southwest house. But yeah, I will, yeah, I love this house. It's four bedrooms, uh, two bathrooms, um, but other than that, it's a great renovation. So this home is on Spring Mountain in Torrey Pines. It is really central, super close to shopping, um, yeah. 
can get down to the strip pretty fast from here. We are back and I had the best time filming this video. I also uploaded a reel to all my socials with basically the same content but just shorter down shortened down so if you want to go to my instagram or my facebook or my tiktok you'll be able to see it just a little bit simpler of a version other than that if you wanted to see any videos about las vegas housing related to this content such as like same neighborhood different prices or different neighborhood different prices or different neighborhood same price i'd be more than happy to make another video to show you guys please leave it in the comments also if you want to work together please fill out the link below i make videos on real estate and las vegas related content and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye